make while you're here of uh, these new art pretenders to the throne, Decline and Sterling. I keep hearing all about them. We're going we're to have a little item on them. Um, there are those who say that they have taken contemporary art to a point beyond which it really can't go. Wow, OK. Well, Tim Samuels went to meet them. Thou shalt liberate art from the tyranny of artists. Thou shalt use as tools the creations of others. I've come to meet Decline and Sterling, two artists who claim to be breaking the art world's last taboo. Hello. Hi, Tim. I'm Joseph. 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 Decline? Yep. Robin, Robin Sterling. Sterling. Robin Sterling. Hey, Tim, welcome. Thanks very much. For the last 10 years, Decline and Sterling's entire output of painting, sculpture and performance art has been based on copying the ideas of more successful artists. Even for the notoriously liberal world of conceptual art, surely this is crossing a line. One artist who Decline and Sterling have based several of their works on is Damien Hirst. Damien's done a lot of work with circles mm -hmm. and we've very much taken that concept, the coloured circles and a white background, and kind of done something with squares. What's the symbolism of squares instead of circles? Just easier to draw, really. Success! Decline and Sterling have also produced their own version of Hearst's diamond-encrusted skull, the one which sold for £50 million. Pounds. These are the eyes, windows oh, yeah. to the soul. And we got the skull for free, and we spent no more than mm. four or five pounds at the supermarket. Uh, buying the honey and the hundreds of thousands and the um, the jelly diamonds. The jelly diamonds. People come across hundreds of thousands jelly diamonds, honey. These people are, are consuming these goods every day. Juxtapose that with the the longevity of, of of a human skull, and I think you've got a much more open source piece of work than covering a skull with millions of pounds worth of diamonds. Had anything back from Damien? Just one. Loud silence, to mm, be honest. Definitely. Klein and Sterling produced Bang in 2004, 33 years after Chris Burden's piece Shoot, which saw the artist shot in the arm by his assistant with a rifle. In 2004, to Klein and Sterling give you Bang. Um, where I was the Chris Burden role, um, Joseph aimed a toy gun at my left arm. Um, and instead of pulling a trigger and firing a real bullet at me, he shouted, BANG! 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 Ah! Ah! Um, I then put my hand to my arm, and in my hand was a blood capsule to affect the idea that I was bleeding. Of course, I wasn't bleeding, I wasn't harmed at all, but I screamed as if I was. Oh, it's, it's on my jeans, it's... It was very loud as well. Yeah. I did shout very loud. In 1998, Decline and Sterling created the work Seedbush in response to Vito Accocci's controversial 1972 performance, Seedbed. He basically laid under the floor of, a, of an art gallery, um, touching himself, masturbating, whilst uh, commenting on the fantasies that he was having with the people who were walking in the gallery above. Uh, uh. Oh. Whereas Conchi oh. took public masturbation from the bushes oh. and brought it into the oh. art gallery, oh. our work oh. was to take it back yeah. to the bushes. <laughs> you know, it was a, it was a threatening piece. Mm. <coughs> I'd say the critics are divided, but they actually seem to be pretty unanimous on this. Mm -hmm. Derivative. Thank you. Devoid of a single idea. Exactly. Good to be understood. Rubbish. In years to come, you'll be remembered as great artists or as a pair of jokers? Hopefully we'll be remembered as revolutionaries, mm. to be honest. The same way they do remember, you know, Robin Hood. There are no more original ideas. Mm. We are the end of art. At the line, at the end of the creative universe, is declining still. I strongly suspect that's not the last we'll be hearing from Decline and Sterling.